If you are in the lean operational excellence space and that you don't know Microsoft updates, you are missing out, big time. When I talk about digital lean management, people have often the wrong impression that because it is digital, it means that we are further away from the action and the shop floor. Nothing could be further from the truth. The idea, however, is that we can support and better formalize our Gemba walk with digital technology, and Microsoft Updates is perfect for that. Companies are full of time-consuming and scattered reports with unstructured formats that are only understood by their author. Microsoft Updates, in the contrary, enables a standardized format, provide a centralized data storage for advanced reporting, and efficient management for auto-reminder. So perfect to streamline your workflow and keeps everyone aligned. And what I love the most with Microsoft Updates is that it is useful for both teams working in offices, managed services, from a desktop, or for frontline workers with a mobile. For this tutorial, we will use an imaginary company, Evergreen Renewable Energy. Evergreen Renewable Energy is a leader in the renewable energy space and is led by a number of visionary leaders pushing for digital lean management ways of working in Microsoft Teams. In lean management, there are a lot of different ways you could use the Microsoft Updates app for, but in today's tutorial, we will go through how Evergreen Energy Renewable use Microsoft Updates ahead of its daily morning meetings to collect updates from the team, how Evergreen uses updates to collect process data for continuous improvement and process confirmation, how Evergreen formalize their short interval control and their Gemba walk with Microsoft Updates. So, let's get started. First, let's get the app installed. To do that, open Microsoft Teams and navigate to the Apps section on the left-hand side. In the search bar, type Updates and click on the app when it appears, then click Add to install it into your Teams environment. Now that the app is installed, you might want to keep it handy by pinning it to your Teams sidebar. Right-click on the Updates icon in your sidebar and select Pin. This way, you'll have quick access to it whenever you need to check or submit an update. When you click on the Updates app, you'll land on the main dashboard. Here you will see on top all the updates that are expected from you and that you need to submit. For instance, you can see that I was due to send an update regarding the daily huddle meeting prep and that I have already submitted that. If you have any updates, late or due soon, you would see them here as well. Just under that are all the updates for which you have been designated a viewer and therefore for which you can see all the results submitted. You will see a tons of useful stats and you can chase your colleagues too from there if required. Finally at the bottom are all the updates you have received from your colleagues, the ones you submitted, and all the updates for which you are an admin and for which you can update, amend the questions if required. The team at Evergreen Renewable Energy uses Microsoft Updates daily to collect the team's update ahead of their huddle or daily morning meeting, so let's check how they do that. Keeping everyone on track is important. If you notice that someone hasn't submitted their update on time, you can easily send them a reminder. Simply go to the Managed Request section, select the request in question, and click Send Reminder. The app will send a notification to the team member, prompting them to submit their update. Now let's walk through how to submit your own update, such as a daily meeting update. Go to the Submit Update section, where I can clearly see that I need to submit my update before 9 a.m. To save time, you can import your previous submission and potentially save valuable time if things have not changed much. Alternatively, fill in the required fields like key updates, summary of work completed yesterday, plans for the day, and your status for the day. Once you're done, click Submit. It's that easy. One of the great features of the Updates app is the ability to customize your dashboard views. You can switch between different layouts, filter your updates by status, and group them by specific questions or categories. This level of customization allows you to focus on the most relevant information for your role. Once you've received submissions, you can view them in detail on the dashboard. You can filter submissions by various criteria like date, status, or who submitted the update. One of the most powerful views is grouping the updates by questions, which gives you a clear picture of how different team members are progressing. Congratulations, you have now all the information you need to run your daily huddle meeting. In this daily huddle meeting, what I'm really interested in is team's member status. I want to know who needs help and potentially who can help. 
I will therefore display a view grouped per question so I can compare results for team members and I can even check what needs to be done for Ligu, who needs help, and check if Fred and Johanna, who have capacity, have the right skills to help him. This simple example show how updates can help me coordinate an entire team with ease and help me display basic information to take decisions without spending much admin time to organize my daily meeting. Of course, we could create more complex reports, trigger some automations and use some AIs, and it will be the subject of a future video, but the basic option is already very powerful. As an admin submitter, in addition to your submitted updates, you can also manage the requests you've created. This section shows you which requests are active, who they're assigned to, and their current status. You can also click on any request to view its details or make edits. You can add as many requests as required and create a system of updates in line with your key controls that will support your management Gemba walk and create a digital Kamashibai board. Microsoft has created a variety of templates within the Updates app to help you get started. These templates are designed for common scenarios like employee onboarding, project updates or meeting summaries. You can select a template, customize it to fit your needs and start collecting updates immediately. Diego Siciliani is the HR manager at Evergreen Renewable Energy and he has noticed in the past year a number of new joiners that have not signed the offer letter before signing their contract or having completed the orientation program before joining. This should not happen and therefore Diego to put in place a process confirmation checklist in Microsoft Teams Updates app before the onboarding goes any further. Let's go ahead and generate an update for employee onboarding using a pre-built Microsoft template. First select the template then customize it if needed. For this example we'll use it as is. Once you've generated the update assign it to the relevant team members and set a due date. Understanding the roles within the Updates app is crucial for effective management. Submitters are the team members who provide the updates, so in Submitters, you will designate the specific people who will see this questionnaire in their Microsoft Teams app. If you want an update to be available for everyone, just select People in your organ with the link and everyone will have access. Viewers can see the submissions. You designate here all the people who will be able to see the details of the submission for each submitter. Managers are the admins behind an update responsible for creating, assigning, and overseeing the updates. You can control who has access to what, ensuring that sensitive information is only visible to the right people. Finally, and very importantly, you can make those updates recurring following the timing you want, or you can choose to have this update available at any time and available on request. You can even add attachments to your update. It can be anything, a picture or a document. In the case of the employee onboarding update, we decided to make the attachment mandatory to make sure the signed off letter is attached to the update. From there, we will allow editing the updates and we will make sure that the description is comprehensive. Once we are happy, we can finally click publish to make these updates available to our users. Johanna Lawrence, a manager in Evergreen Renewable Energy request to receive the employee onboarding process confirmation per chat and from there is directly able to fill the update and make sure that the full process has been supported. A very powerful example that shows how you can drive best practices in creating checklists for my team members but even more importantly all of my data is then recorded in MS updates and can be an invaluable source of information for data analysis root cause problem solving and ultimately driving continuous improvement. We can simply extract the data in Excel to do some basics analysis but again we could go much further than that in developing custom Power BI report, trigger some automations based on specific events or plug an AI assistant to have analysis on request. Now let's prepare an update that will be used by the team for short interval control. For this example, I am going to start from a blank update. Let's call this update short interval control and I will start adding questions one by one. As you can see, I can add different types of questions. It could be a short text, typically one line, rich text, several lines, or a number, or a multiple choices questions if more than one answer is expected, a single choice question if only one answer is expected. It could also be presented as a drop-down. 
Finally, I could also choose to add a date. For each of those questions, I can choose to make them mandatory in toggling on and off the required button at the end of each question. If you are familiar with Microsoft Forms, this is pretty much a simplified version of Microsoft Forms. For my short interval controls update that will be used to identify root causes and issues for continuous improvement, I will ask my team to record the date of the update, which equipment, materials was controlled, the defects observed, the actions taken, and the root causes identified, as well as a picture. I will designate Lydia and Lynn in my team for those short interval controls, and they will need to happen daily before 11 a.m. And I'm also expecting a picture of the equipment. Lynn receives a notification update of the short interval control directly on her iPad during her inspection of the wind turbines fields. She comes across a huge issue on one of the turbines. It was probably caused by the recent storm, but the maintenance team needs to take actions immediately. She indicates all of that in the update. Take a picture, submit, and inform the maintenance team. And that's it. In customizing all of those updates for your business, you end up creating a digital Kamishibai board. This is a simple yet powerful tool for ensuring standardized work and accountability in any lean environment. By implementing this visual management tool, you can enhance communication, streamline daily operations, and foster a culture of continuous improvement. During this tutorial, we have concentrated on the front end of Microsoft Updates, but there are plenty of opportunities in using the data recorded in MS Updates. The use of the MS Updates data will be the subject of the part two of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tips on lean management tools and techniques. And remember, keeping things visual and simple is often the key to success in any lean initiative. See you in the next video.